Hey guys, how are you? It's Lindy and welcome to a new video! So, I've got my t-shirt on, so we all know what time it is. It is time to ruin my hair again! No, just kidding. This time I'm definitely not gonna ruin my hair. I am determined to have good hair this time and to make it work. Um, because honestly... I just, I just want to have beautiful hair again, okay? I just want to have beautiful hair. So today I'm going to um, try to get this uh, toothpaste color out of my hair. And then I'm going to tone the rest of my hair as well. Because obviously this is still pretty yellow and that's just because I haven't toned it yet. Because I was like, I'm not sure if I should tone it because then maybe the green turns into a black. You know, so I kind of had to do some more research before I did something to my hair. And I kind of figured out a way how to get it out of my hair. So that's what we're going to do today. So if you're interested in that, then please keep on watching. Oh wait, I forgot to show Pablo in my intro. Wait, Pablo! Pablo! Boy, how you doing? So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to use the color wheel. That's something that I've been ignoring my entire life. I know that you have to look at the color wheel when dyeing your hair and stuff, but I just never did that because I just didn't really care. <laughs> Which obviously showed um, my hair has always been looking very crusty and dusty. So I got a bunch of hair dyes over here. They're all from Lunar Tides Hair Dyes. Use code Crystalini for 10% of your purchase. And yeah, I'm going to use these hair dyes to make a color that is opposite of the color that's in my hair right now and I'm going to apply that on top of it to make the green disappear and that should work perfectly so I'm very excited so I've got the color wheel right here and if I just like look at the colors that are in there I would say it's kind of like a green and a blue green color because I feel like it definitely looks more green than yellow. I know that the color underneath it is very yellow, but that's not the color we're looking at right now. It's only the color on the top. So that's definitely more of like a blue-green, I would say. Also, I'm probably not right and I'm probably gonna f*** it up again. So if I look at the opposite color of green and blue-green, that is orange and red. I'm not gonna put red hair dye in my hair because honestly I am Terrified of red hair dye ever since the last time I tried to get it out of my hair. Oh my god! <laughs> that was a big disaster. So I'm gonna mix these two together to get like a coppery red, I think. And then I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of conditioner as well. And I'm gonna try to put that on the ends of my hair only. Which is gonna be so difficult because my hair is so short. But like I said, this time I'm really gonna try. So gotta make it work okay it's gonna work this time so I'm just gonna put some like conditioner in here like this not too much because I have pretty short hair and then take a teeny tiny amount of both the hair dyes and then mix it together and then see if it's gonna turn into the right color and I'm honestly already terrified but you know <laughs> okay so I have this color right now it's kind of like a peachy color is it too pigmented I'm not sure I don't know so my hair is kind of wet and I think I'm just gonna apply it. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. Because it's gonna be really difficult not to touch the yellow parts. But I'm sure as I'm gonna try. I'm scared, but we are gonna do this. Honestly, I feel like nothing is gonna happen at all. But I don't see anything change at all. Oh. Okay, hi Pablo. <laughs> Pablo, I'm, I'm dying my hair. Yeah, go away. That's better. Honestly, I feel like it might be a little bit too um, orange. But honestly, I've applied so much pink in there that it should be more pink than it is right now. So I'm just gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes and I swear to God, I really hope it's gonna work. But I honestly think it is a little bit too orange. But again, I applied so much pink to it that I feel like it should be way more pink. Hey guys, I am back and I am suddenly a ginger. So I ended up leaving it in my hair for like 10 minutes, maybe 15. 
but definitely not 30 because I realized that my hair was actually getting orange <laughs> but like in all honesty I am not mad at this color at all I actually think it looks pretty cool I mean I would almost consider dyeing my entire hair this color because I think it looks pretty cool but I'm actually not gonna do that most of the green is actually out of my hair so I would definitely say that this method was a success but of course my hair wasn't supposed to turn this color so I think I did end up using a little bit too much dye uh, even though I thought I used too little I think I'm just gonna wash my hair one time with <laughs> I Mm, I So I think I'm just gonna wash my hair one time with head and shoulders and see if I can get some of the color out Because you know, I just applied it so I think it's gonna be fine to get some of it out And after that I'm gonna use a silver shampoo to make it a little bit more like silvery So honestly, I'm actually already pretty impressed with myself So yeah, let's see how it's gonna end up looking after this I washed my hair once with head and shoulders and it took a little bit of like the coppery color out but I only left it in for like not too long because I felt like maybe if I leave it in for longer I'm gonna get the hair dye out and my hair is gonna turn green again and that is not what I want. Also my teeth are the exact same color as my hair right now because I just drank three cups of coffee so <laughs> just so you know. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna mix some conditioner with some Fanola no yellow shampoo and then I'm just gonna put it in my hair just like hair dye you know and I'm just gonna let that sit in my hair for I don't know 15 minutes 20 minutes an hour five days not sure yet and for all the people who have been telling me that I should leave my hair alone uh, why don't you leave me alone if this stuff is gonna make my hair green again, then I think I'm gonna throw myself off my balcony. <laughs> Just so you know. Just to be sure, I'm gonna do a strand test and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've done the strand test over here and it definitely didn't turn green. To be honest, I don't even see that much of a difference, so... I'm just gonna do it and honestly I am so proud of myself right now because I am really making sure this time everything is going well I'm following all the rules in the books that I normally just like ignored like threw out the window and never looked at so um, yeah I have my concoction over here Ooh, it's looking very bright but again it's just purple shampoo so it's definitely not gonna stay that color and then I'm just gonna put it in my hair. Also, like one of the really good things about having short hair is that like dyeing your hair and stuff goes so much faster. So that comes in very handy for me since I dye my hair every five hours. So I do kind of feel like if this ends up working out in the end then I probably shouldn't dye my hair for like the next six months or so just to, you know, appreciate my hair but honestly, I already don't think I'm gonna be able to do that because <laughs> I just love it so much I love dyeing my hair I literally get comments from people who say that I'm like very insecure or you should be happy with yourself, you shouldn't change your look up, just be like grateful for who you are and how you look and everything. And honestly, I, I never get those comments. Like, I don't dye my hair because I'm like hella insecure, like not at all. I dye my hair because I like dyeing my hair. I mean, is it so weird to think that you don't have to be insecure in order to change something <laughs> of yourself? But yeah, um, this is the silver shampoo. Uh, 
and I'm just gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes this time, maybe even longer, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do something and then see how late it is and then rinse it out, I guess. So, um, yeah, really hope it's gonna work out this time and it's actually gonna be the color that I want it to be because I don't feel like bleaching my hair again. So, yeah, see you in a few. Um, oh, snap, 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 snap. Look at my hair! Oh my god, I can't believe it actually worked. Oh, I love this color so much! I actually can't believe that I pulled this off. Oh my god, I should be a hairdresser. I don't think I will have any clients, but you know, at least I'll have fun. And I can't believe that I started this day off with toothpaste hair and now I have this silver hair! This is the end of my hair journey. It didn't take too long this time though. It only took like a few days and the last time it took like four months, I believe. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. Also, I just want to thank all of you who gave me like a lot of tips because on my previous video, I got so many tips. So thank you all so much. Um, it was kind of difficult though. Like I really appreciate you guys giving me tips. Like I think it's so nice and very helpful, but it was kind of difficult because like, Everybody said something else. <laughs> I mean, you also get comments from hairdressers and even the hairdressers, like, they all said something different. So I was like, thank you, but I don't really know, like, which one of you I should, like, listen to right now. <laughs> because all your tips are different. So thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> also, please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. And I really hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.